Hello, my name is Abigail Dressel and I'm the Counselor for Public Affairs at the U.S. Embassy in Bogota, Colombia. I'm delighted to be here in Pereira and explain a little bit about what I do in my job. As the Counselor for Public Affairs, my job is to explain the United States, our values and our policy in Colombia to the Colombian public. And we do that in many different ways. We do that through the press, by issuing press releases, by giving speeches, by publicizing what we do. And we also do it through longer term cultural programs, very much like our cooperation with, the, with uh, Colombo here in Pereira, through English, through education, through American experts uh, in, different, in, in different areas of American life, and through dance, through art, through music. Hi, my name is Malore Brown, and I am the Regional Public Engagement Specialist for the U.S. Embassy here in Colombia. Uh, that's a long title to say that uh, what I do in my job is I do a lot of outreach to American spaces, binational centers, and the libraries within them. We are bringing a lot of information about the United States, cultural information, and not just in person and in the buildings, but also virtually. We invite you to come to the Columbos and learn more about what we do. Hello, my name is Michelle Riebling, and I'm the Cultural Affairs Officer at the U.S. Embassy in Bogota. In this role, I have the opportunity of getting to work with all the uh, educational and cultural exchanges that the U.S. Embassy has here in Colombia. It's a fantastic job. Hi, my name is Rachel Wilson, and I work at the U.S. Embassy. I work in the Public Affairs section, and my job title is Higher Education and Alumni Coordinator. So what does that mean? Well, I work with U.S. universities who want to engage with Columbia, who want to work with Colombian students, and also with Colombian universities who want to make partnerships outside of Columbia, specifically in, in the U.S. The other part of my job is with alumni, so anyone who has participated in a U.S. government program, so exchange programs where you travel to the U.S., or programs here in Colombia where you learn English or study U.S. culture here in Colombia, I work with that network of, of students and professionals. The message I have for Colombo Pereira in its 50 years is, first of all, congratulations. You, in your 50 years of existence, have been working in this beautiful city, um, teaching people English, explaining American culture, uh, and helping to cement and strengthen the bilateral relationship between Colombia and the United States here in the, in the Eje Cafetero. So my, my message is congratulations, keep it up, and we at the Embassy are absolutely delighted to be your partner. Wow! Felicitaciones! Good job! And keep it up for another 50 plus years. Congratulations to the, the Colombo Pereira Cartago. Uh, you've had a wonderful 50 years at the U.S. Embassy. We're so proud of what you've done and how you continue to push forward and represent uh, U.S. culture and teach American English. And you're a true treasure. Congratulations. Wow, 50 years is a long time. <laughs> We've just a big congratulations. I mean, sustainability is really big in everything that we do because we know that doing a program, you know, once or twice, it's really hard to establish networks. It's really hard to, to understand the importance. And so um, congratulations on, on having done programs for so long and having really established yourselves here in Pereira as, as, as an amazing place not only to learn English, but to learn about U.S. culture, to, to learn about opportunities to study in the U.S. And so so, so we're so happy to have you as our partner. Well, we in, in the public affairs section of the embassy are about 30 people. And so having nine fantastic American spaces throughout Colombia that teach English annually to 45,000 Colombians really increases our reach, um, helps spread American culture, helps get good quality English instruction uh, across Colombia. and. I consider the Colombos some of our most important allies in this country. American spaces are important allies for the embassy because this is uh, one, one of the ways that we can reach vulnerable communities, um, all communities within Colombia. So they can access, as I mentioned, through coming into the BNCs and the American spaces, but also virtually. We have virtual programs they can participate in and also uh, social media as well. 
Uh, the network of Colombo Americanos, American spaces here in Colombia, are incredibly important uh, allies of the embassy. You uh, represent us around Colombia. You have an incredibly important role in, in teaching English, in representing American culture and American values throughout Colombia, and we're, we're so proud to be associated with you. American Spaces are one of our most important allies because we unfortunately can't be here every day or every week or even every month. We do get to travel a lot around the country, but when we're not here, you guys are our eyes and our ears and our voices, and you get to promote our programs. You get to, to interact with students and professionals on a daily basis to talk about English, to talk about study in the U.S., and so we're so thankful to have, to have the Colombos and the American Spaces as our allies. Innovative. Fantastico! <laughs> Fabulous. This is my second time actually at the Colombo in Pereira, but this is my first time when it's all renovated. So my word would be, would be vibrant. There's so much energy, there's so many colors, and just you, you see English everywhere, you hear people speaking English everywhere, so I would say vibrant.